while I finally watch Venom for the first time. I think this clip sums it up perfectly. You know what it's like? It's like that show Becker, you know, with Ted Danson. I watched the entire run of that show hoping that it would get better, and it never did. It had all the right pieces, but it just it couldn't put them together. And when it got canceled, I was really bummed out. Not because I liked the show, but because I knew it could be so much better, and now it never would be. I mean, granted, it's not like this movie told me how worthless I am, but still. Honestly, I didn't really know what to expect, since reactions to it were pretty mixed, so I went into the movie blind. Now, I know I'm making it sound like it's some terrible movie, and that's not the case. In fact, there was some stuff that I actually enjoyed. For starters, the action scenes in this movie are done pretty well. It's shot fine, and the weight and speed of Venom and Riot both feel appropriate, which I think is something a lot of people ignore when it comes to action scenes in movies, especially with big CGI critters. All the actors do a good job, Tom Hardy is probably the standout, and he definitely seems like he's having the most fun out of the cast. However, the most common thing that I've heard people say about this movie is that the relationship between Eddie and Venom is the best part of the film. And yeah, I, I generally agree with that, but I don't think that necessarily makes it a good relationship. I'm just gonna say it, the villain sucks. It's the whole, humans are weak, we need to evolve, blah 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 blah. Plus, he just says some really weird stuff. Mr. Drake? It's okay, don't silence her. Come here, what's your name? Allie. It's okay, Allie, you know, sometimes it's what people do. They try and silence those of us who ask questions, but you know what, in the end, we're the ones who changed the world. I mean, who says that kind of thing to a fifth grader? Oh yeah, a one-dimensional villain. The pacing also is really off, at least to me. The first part of the movie is slow and boring, but I mean, things pick up once Venom and Eddie hook up. From there, it moves at a moderately quick pace, almost like it's making up for the first half of the movie. However, this works against the relationship with Venom and Eddie, making it rushed and kind of forced in some areas. When it came to the emotional moments, like Eddie willingly accepting Venom during the final battle, I didn't really feel anything, even when I knew I should. The lack of a real friendship between the two made this line kind of awkward as well. Hey, I'm sorry about Venom. I guess when I heard about a Venom movie being made, I was more expecting the film to have the dramatic weight of Venom and Peter Parker from Spider-Man 3, and instead got this. Also, random side note, but I thought the music was kind of odd. It's pretty much all I can just say about that one. However, if I'm going to complain about a movie, I'm at least going to try and suggest some alternate ideas, because otherwise that's just me whining. Also, random random side note, but Venom offering cheesy love advice like this. You never apologized. You might not live to get another chance. and being a loser was just kind of lame in my opinion. I'm just going to rack them off quickly. Number one, going for a more dramatic centered story instead of an MCU type feel. Number two, get crazy with some of the ideas. I mean, at one point we see a female Venom, which is a pretty cool idea, but earlier he was inside a dog and Riot was inside a little girl. Hey, wait a minute. When they're within each of those respective hosts, we never see them in a symbiote form. If we want to do this more comedic tone like the rest of the movie, I mean, why not have a little venomized chihuahua rat dog and a little venomized girl running around? Heck, in the comics, at one point, there was a Venom T-Rex. Number three, add a Venom T-Rex. You can't go wrong with that. Number four, develop more time to Eddie and Venom developing their relationship. So, what are my overall thoughts? I didn't really care for it. I don't think it's as bad as some people make it out to be. If you can get enjoyment out of this, then I'm glad you can do so. Personally, I don't have any desire to rewatch this anytime soon. Take care and have a great day. Also, you may be thinking a WandaVision review was next, but I want to wait until the entire season's out. Until then, I kind of want to look at something else.